Hello friends, Techman Pat here. Today I have an electric scooter, and this time around, a bit more budget friendly than the last few we have reviewed on this channel. So does the price match the performance? Can the scooter exceed its mortal limitations? Well, big thanks to Segway9Bot for sending me this, the Kick Scooter F2 for review, and links below where you can find it, but before you consider the purchase, make sure to like and subscribe and watch till the end. Let's get started by rolling the intro. I have a little surprise accessory for you, but let me save that for a bit later. The 9Bot F2 kick scooter offers a lot in a what I would call a very light package. I wouldn't be surprised if you did a double take and wonder where they have managed to fit the 10,000 milliamp battery. And that on paper, well, supposed to give you 40 kilometers of range. I have, however, managed to only get 34, but that's because I'm also a little bit bigger. In saying that, the steel body is much lighter than most scooters because there is less of it, but at the same time, it offers a great 120 kg limit for the rider, which in my case is perfect as I am very much close to 120. But you also have to take into account the slopes. The F2 can do up to 18% climbs, which is great before it slows. Now, speaking of performance and politics aside, it is limited to 25 kilometers per hour in my state, which is a disappointment, but the F2 does make up for that. What it does do is achieve fast acceleration to said 25 kilometers an hour, which is a very nice feeling. Then, once at speed, and this is one of my favorite things about the F2, the braking system, it has one lever for both the rear electric brake and the front disc brake, giving you double stopping power with one lever instead of two. The F2 has a nice indicator rocker on the left bar, which works really, really well. The lights are really bright. The front light is also very good. The brake light and the reflectors make night riding a possibility and a very safe experience. I've used all of the above many evenings coming home from work late, and I cannot stress enough how much better I feel looking like a Christmas tree. When you do want to slow down, you can take advantage of the regenerative rear brakes too, and charge up your battery a little bit more. Now your battery needs to be a little bit discharged before the regenerative brakes kick in. Now speaking of charging, the speed from the wall is about six and a half hours for a full charge. There are three modes of speed, but as always, I say ride on max, get the most out of your F2. It's nice and fast in that one, but eco mode is chill, I guess. <laughs> the F2 is actually a 2023 upgraded version, and it comes with wider handlebars than the previous one for better stability, upgraded pneumatic tires with a jelly layer to eliminate punctures by self-sealing, similar to how road bikes can have a liquid inside the tire to seal themselves, but this has some sort of jelly form inside. But what it does not come with, which I'm sure you've noticed by now, and why the price is much more affordable at 949 Australian dollars, is the lack there of suspension on both ends. Now this may be a deal breaker for some, but with some comfortable sneakers, I managed to clock in 20 kilometers in one go to work with fairly maybe light strain on the calves. While the 10 inch tires do absorb most of the things on the road, the scooter belongs on normal asphalt, smooth roads and uncracked food paths, which might be rare in some countries. What I will say though, once on a smooth road, the experience is great and the scooter is very responsive and fun to ride. And before you ask, yes, it has cruise control and it is fully adjustable from the app. More on that in a moment. The F2 has some unique features too. The anti-skid traction control system is interesting. It works best on slightly wet roads where soot has collected and made the roads slippery. It works similarly to ABS control in a car in a roundabout way. I kind of had a hard time trying to enable it, but it did sort of reduce the ability to skid. It really showed its true colors on gravel, but this scooter isn't really made for that. Now, the big difference between Segway, Ninebot, and other brands is the safety, in my opinion, specifically battery safety. The F2 has a smart battery management system, which reduces the chances of things going wrong with your battery. I think the media made a big deal of Christmas presents lighting up on fire under the tree. Well, Segway, Ninebot wants to make sure nothing like that ever happens, and they've really put the effort in. There is, however, one capability that I think is a killer feature, and maybe the reason that makes people buy this scooter if they also are in the Apple ecosystem, and that's the 
integration with Find My Networks on Apple. You can quickly and easily add the scooter to your Find My Apple account and then you're able to track it anywhere it goes. How awesome is that? In fact, it acts similarly to an Apple tag. So like with an iPhone, there is really no point to steal your scooter. And this is the kind of feature that I like and I can get behind and it's what makes Segway's core brand better. Now that accessory I mentioned, well, let me preface this. It may look silly, but as they say, if it works, it works. Now the F2 has a seat accessory. As you can see, it mounts on the deck and provides a very large cushion for your rear end. Not only that, it has a little backpack in the center which mounts nicely into the actual seat area there. And it is screwed in place so you can't just rip it off. Now I'll be the first to admit it looks quite silly sitting on a scooter going at 25 kilometers an hour. It really just then becomes a very slow moped. But the seat reduces bouncing and lets you go for gold on long rides without any fatigue. Now I would be careful with the top material on the seat. It feels rather thin and may rip easily. The backpack on the other hand is very sturdy and perfect for a beer run. What can I say? It does the job really well even though it looks a little bit odd. Now I've said it over the last few reviews that I'm sick and tired of apps. Apps for everything. Apps for dishwashers, apps for fridges, apps for toasters. But don't get me wrong, there are instances where an app is great, and here is one. I'm gonna highlight the most useful features of the app because let's be honest, there's always a bit of fluff in there. The app, once set up and bound to your account, allows you to lock and unlock the F2, giving you a peace of mind when leaving it outside a store. A would-be thief can't just jump on and ride away into the sunset. Of course, you should still tie it up with a lock of some sorts, but at least if they cut it or break it off, then it's still unusable to them. Secondly, you can view your total distance traveled, the range left, customize the cruise control, energy recovery, and so on. So there's a few little extra settings in there. Lastly, a nifty little feature, you can set a password on the scooter that utilizes the indicator rocker switch and brake lever as a password input. So after you lock it with the app, you don't have to go back into the app to unlock it, you can just flick the right code and off you go. No need to use the app, which is awesome. The F2 is a feature-rich yet cost-effective electric scooter that offers a lot of performance for the money. It's compact package, uh, there's a dual braking system, over 30 kilometers of range, built-in indicators, traction control, upgraded towers, fantastic app functionality, and the Find My integration makes it a very practical and safe scooter. It's a great ride on smooth roads, it feels very stable with the added length in the bars, and I would happily recommend it to anyone. The seat, well, that's dealer's choice, but it has its place, I'm sure. At 949, Segway's taken no shortcuts and it's full of features, so that's a thumbs up from me. Big thanks to Segway for sending the F24 review. Check the links below where you can pick yours up, and if the video helped you, then smash the like button and subscribe to support us. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in another one. Bye.